Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And Scotland have just absolutely thrashed Wales 35 points to 7 thanks to a Finn Russell masterclass. It was a clinic. It was Finn Russell at his absolute best. And I, and I think one of the great fly half performances. And it all happened basically in one half. And it was an absolute privilege to watch, to be honest. And Wales, that's back-to-back -back heavy defeats. They will not be happy. There will be a bit of panic in that uh, camp, I, I think. Uh, and probably rightfully so, to be honest, because what they're seeing, what we're seeing from Wales is a little bit worrying because I think that they have been really, really poor. Uh, but Scotland today were worth all their weight in gold. And Finn Russell, what, what a performance. Before we sort of break the game down, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. It all started very early with Finn Russell getting things going in the eighth minute with a penalty um, before we, and uh, following that up in seven minutes later to go 6 0 up. Uh, in the 15th minute. Dan Bigger then missed a penalty in the 24th minute. Uh, Scotland started well, I thought. I thought that they were, they were quite sharp. They, they had intensity. And Wales were a bit slow to get going. Uh, George Turner then saw a try in the 30th minute. Finn Russell adding the extras before Turner then got a yellow card. And uh, Wales did make that count. Ken Owens then went over uh, in the 34th minute. Um, only more try, you know, very much using the fact that they were one man down in the pack. And uh, so it kept themselves in touching distance. 13 points to seven. Um, at half time and at 13.7 you think well you know Scotland need to start well uh, but Wales is still in the game despite having a pretty poor first half well second half Finn Russell arrived and I mean jeepers and a phenomenal uh, you know chicken wing pass offload on, as he's fought going down getting in between two players to, to tee up Carl Stein for the try in the 51st minute adding the conversion uh, then a cross kick you know five minutes later on a platter for Carl Stein at uh, that time missing the conversion then a brilliant try from Dave King. It was a phenomenal offload of Triple Otto off the shoulder to Finn Russell. He chipped to the head uh, for John Finn and Merva, who then popped it back inside for Blair King. On, I mean, champagne rugby at its absolute finest. And then just finally, just to wrap things up, uh, you know, right towards the end, Finn Russell just delaying a pass over the top to Matt Ferguson. Three try assists from Finn Russell, as well as playing a major part in the fourth in or in in in, in another try to make it four really try, you know, um, contributions. Uh, didn't miss a couple of kicks, but I mean, 35.7, what an absolute drubbing. If we look at some of the stats, in fact, the interesting thing is possession is 50-50. However, territory, Wales actually had more. And Wales, I think, you know, visited the, the 22 of Scotland, I think about almost three times as many times, um, but didn't get the points. Uh, five tries to one, 435 meters to 312, 28 defenders beaten by Scotland to nine, 10 clear breaks to one. Um, Wales had more gain line carries and more passes and more offloads. Same amount of turnovers won, um, kicks from hand 29, 25 in favor of Scotland. Uh, but this is for me the big sort of thing. Scotland were asked to make 174 tackles, they missed just nine. That's a 95% tackle success rate. In comparison, Wales were asked to, um, to, to make just 146 tackles, missing 28, 81%. A goal success rate, 57% for, for, for Scotland. So Finn Russell missing three kicks. Um, Dan Bigger missing one, 50% for Wales. Ruck success was was pretty um, decent. A couple of rucks where, where, where Wales were, I mean, Scotland were a bit slow. But uh, scrums, in fact, for Scotland were a bit of a problem. They only won two out of five. That's 40%. They also lost one line, 19 out of 20. Wales losing three line outs. There was a big problem at the line, especially at the beginning of the game uh, for Wales. Wales conceding 14 penalties. To Scotland's 11, Wales gained two yellow cards. One was right at the end, so it doesn't really count to one. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at some of the, the, the individual performances, I thought Matt Ferguson once again showed his quality. Uh, he made 20 tackles, missing just one, 12 carries, 26 meters gained, three defenders beaten, and a try. Uh, I thought that Jamie Ritchie looked really hard as well. Um, you know, Grant Gilchrist, uh, Richie Gray. Uh, Dylan van der Merwe, you know, full of range, especially towards the end of the game. He beat eight defenders, three clean breaks, a try assist, uh, 102 meters gained, three tackles made. Uh, Carl Stain, for example, 50 meters gained, three defenders beaten, four clean breaks. But let's look at Finn Russell. 90% tackle success rate. He made nine, missing just one. I thought he defended really well. So actually very underrated part of his game. Uh, three try assists, one defenders beaten, 25 passes, 28 meters gained, uh, 10 points to his name. What an absolutely iconic performance. Uh, for Wales, I thought uh, Rio Dyer looked pretty live really, with the ball in hand. Uh, didn't get too much uh, you know, opportunities. Cross Chunza worked really hard. Eight tackles, six carries. Uh, I do think that the that the the new sort of look, new, young new share from Wales were a little bit um, 
outclassed. You know, I think that there was a difference. There's a gulf of quality. Tommy Riffle, I thought, played pretty well, defended very well. Uh, Jack Morgan didn't get enough ball in hand. You know, he's a very good ball carrier. I'd like to have seen him, you know, use that more. Uh, Adam Beard was was characteristically quite busy more in the second half. Uh, well, in the first half, I thought. Um, Daft Jenkins carried a couple of times, but yeah, not too many standout performances from Wales. I thought they were pretty ordinary. George North not really managing to get into the game as much as he'd like. Uh, Joe Hawkins as well, uh, not really influencing the game as much. And then they just didn't have enough off the bench to make a difference. Uh, let me know what you thought about the, the game down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you soon.